Hi, my name is Alexia Tolis, and today I will be recommending one of my favorite short stories, Flies by Helen Clonaris. Flies portrays the final days of Marjorie St. George, who lives alone in the crumbling remains of a once proud and powerful Bahamian estate. She's interrupted one day by a fly whose very presence creates a moral quandary. On one hand, Marjorie disdains flies, the harbingers of dirt and decay, but Marjorie's God says thou shalt not kill. Marjorie's relentless pursuit of the flies is wearing her thin. She has trouble breathing, her chest constricts, and her fingers tremble. But the flies are a personal affront to Marjorie's identity. Marjorie was once a member of a privileged class whose sole claim to power lied in their whiteness. Her father is photographed with a host of white Bahamian dignitaries and British royalty. But we don't see any photographs of Marjorie's mother's family, which her mother says is for the best. Marjorie's obsession with cleaning is but a union projection of her deeply ingrained fear of racial contamination, symbolized by the flies which multiply daily until they cover every inch of the house. Marjorie is forced to choose between her values of cleanliness and godliness, never once realizing that it is her own decaying body that has attracted the flies. Clonaris uses graphic sensory details that teeter between revolting and sumptuous, from Marjorie's decaying flesh to the sensual release of her body from a world that will no longer tolerate her vehement and unwarranted claims to superiority. Flies is a visceral experience in his decadent language, poignant symbolism, and unapologetic confrontation of internalized racism that must die for a nation to progress. You can find Flies in Clonaris' short story collection entitled um, If I Had Wings, and I hope that you enjoy it just as much as I have.